A number of east side businesses like Blue Cat Vintage here took out this ad in the paper today. They're asking the Spokane Transit Authority to do something about congestion that they say is a result of the way bus stops on this intersection are set up. Traffic on East Sprague has been causing various forms of frustration for years. Originally, it was two lanes each way. Then it went to one each way to make it friendlier to business and less of a thoroughfare. Sidewalks and parking lanes were widened and trees and lights added. And buses started stopping in lane rather than pulling off to the side to allow for more parking. But now, business owners are saying those stops are now just causing new problems. I'm really afraid that somebody's going to get hurt. Janet Taylor owns Blue Cat Vintage on Sprague in Napa. Right now, when buses stop, they do so on the far side of the intersection. Taylor says that causes cars to back up in the middle of the road and some to miss lights. More concerning, impatient drivers often try to go around the bus and cut into the turn lane. That is a safety concern. Um, I've been in that lane myself when somebody did pass and I was like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> she and other business owners want the stops moved, either further down the street or before the light. But STA says those just cause other problems. Pulling out of lane further down would eliminate dozens of parking spots the businesses want. And stopping before the light causes a danger to pedestrians. When you stop on the near side of the intersection, if a pedestrian crosses in front of the bus, if there were to be an impatient driver who and around it, that would be a blind spot for that pedestrian to walk out to in front of an oncoming car. STA says the real problem here is traffic lights. Traffic queuing has more to do with the traffic lights than it does have to be behind the bus, which stops on average for about 13 seconds at these inline stops. Mm -hmm. That's why at today's board meeting, the STA voted to keep the stops where they are, but to explore a new technology. It would basically give buses the same power to change the lights that fire trucks have. So they could turn the light red behind them temporarily so antsy drivers don't try to sneak into the intersection or turn lane. Taylor says she's open to compromise as long as it makes her intersection safer. We want to work with the STA and I'm sure that we can come to some type of compromise. So in lane stops staying on Sprague for the foreseeable future, that means the specific goal of the ad not achieved today, but the business owners here are still working with STA to find a solution to the broader problem.